Now y'all know this is a move that I absolutely love. I love it. 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 Now I'm also realistic. So I got to keep my expectations tempered because I know these Baltimore, no, 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 excuse me. We know these Baltimore Ravens. We know how they operate. We know how their offense operates. We know how they are when it comes to the wide receiver position. So expectations have to be tempered. But Shamar Bridges being back is never a bad thing, especially because um, the way that this season went for him, uh, he came on strong that first game of the preseason. He was going off, and I said that he is a lock, a lock to make the roster. And there was no there was no Florida bias in there, though, even though he's a Florida Raven. But I said that he was a lock to make the roster, especially because of how the Ravens wide receiver depth chart was looking. The only guys that were locks to make the roster uh, was Rashad Bateman, Devin DuVernay, James Prochet, Tylen Wallace. That was it. So this was before Demarcus Robinson. This was obviously before Deshaun Jackson, before, even though it seems like he doesn't even exist, before Andy Isabella. This was before all of that stuff. Um, and Benjamin Victor, he had been on a practice squad, so I figured that he would stay there. Um, but I felt like Shamar Bridges, like he was a lock. I also thought Makai Polk had a chance to make the roster too. And I believe he, well, he was on a practice squad, but then, is he still on Ravens? I'm not sure what his status is. But anyway, Shamar Bridges is back. The Ravens are signing him to their practice squad, uh, bringing back the undrafted rookie free agent wide receiver. Now, um, what does Shamar, what could Shamar Bridges bring back <laughs> to the Baltimore Ravens? Well, um, obviously that's swagger because he's from Florida. But besides that, um, he brings an element to the Baltimore Ravens receivers that they just do not, well, not necessarily that they don't even have, but just something that they do not use that we've been talking about on here for a long time. And that's size. That's size. Ravens have this infatuation with these small little guys at wide receiver. And it's no offense to anybody. I mean, they, they like my height. I, I could be a Ravens receiver because I'm like 5'10", 5 5'11". 5 um, so I could be a Ravens receiver, but I just feel like that limits the receivers that limits the quarterback, how he can throw it to him and get it to him and whatnot. It, I just feel like that limits it. But, and it's obviously every receiver ain't about to be six foot four, six foot five. And I don't expect that. But, um, if you can have some more variety, I think it would allow you to do more, uh, with your pass catches. But anyway, um, Shamar Bridges brings that size. He's like, he's six, five. He's 6'5". So that's a big frame. That's a big target. That's a big catch radius. So somebody like that could help make the quarterback's job that much easier. If somebody's smaller, then the throws have to be that much more perfect. They got to be that much more perfect. And your room for error is decreased by a lot because the person, they're smaller. Um, but when they're bigger, it's, it's easy to get it to them. Uh, but with Shamar Bridges, he got some decent speed. One of my favorite things about him, uh, he has very, very good body control. Very, very good body control. And that, it makes such a big difference for those, especially for, in the middle of the field. Yeah, in the middle of the field, it's easier because it's the middle of the field. But it makes such a big difference on them sideline catches, catches in the, in the end zone. Stuff like that, because you got to be extra careful about where your feet are, where your toes are. I mean, if you're in Jacksonville, you ain't got to be that careful because you can get a foot down and they say, oh, touchdown. But anyway, we're moving on. But this is uh, this is really nice to see. Um, I'm, I'm interested what this means, though. I'm really interested what this means for anybody else that's on the roster. The reason I say that is because this this comes out of nowhere. This comes out of nowhere. It is week, what are we in, week 12, week 13? I think week 12. But this comes out of nowhere because, I mean, we're late into the season, and they're making a sign like this at wide receiver. It can mean a couple of things. That one of their receivers, somebody's not healthy. Somebody's getting ready to miss some time. Somebody is out with an injury. Uh, today is Wednesday, so they will be returning uh, to the practice field today. Uh, so I'm sure we'll find out then uh, who it is. But it's got to be somebody. 
whether somebody on a practice squad, whether they got hurt, or some or receiver on the active roster, they got hurt because it wasn't just signed Shamar Bridges for nothing. I mean, a lot a lot of people been clamoring for Shamar Bridges to come back. I was clamoring for him to stay. I thought he should have never left. But the Ravens, they, again, he went off that first game in the preseason. Then they said, oh, Shamar Bridges got an injury. They placed him on injury reserve, um, which ended his season. But they did an injury settlement, and that released him, and that allowed him to uh, sign with any other team once he got healthy. Um, but then he, he had the surgery, so that put him down for a little bit. And, again, I thought that his season was going to be over, but it wasn't. So now he's back, and the Ravens brought him back. So good move. Uh, I like it. Uh, again, expectations are going to be tempered because, again, I don't know what it means for and for who it means it for. Uh, but I'm sure we'll see all of that uh, very, very soon. Uh, I wonder what number he's going to get. I wonder what number he's going to get. But this, this, this is exciting, man. Oh, and they, they said uh, J.K. Dobbins, he, he returned to practice as well. Um, with J.K. Dobbins, uh, him, he, it's, all, it's always been the expectation that he was going to be in a very uh, limited role uh, once he did finally come back um, from his surgery. Uh, but, I mean, so they, they, they're not going to rush anything with him. They are going, and again, you saw it before with J.K. Dobbins. They took their sweet time with J.K. Dobbins when he first came back this year. They took all the time in the world, and I don't blame them. Again, because with, with Gus, when Gus came back, Gus got a full workload right away. Well, he got the, the Ravens full workload. For a Ravens running back, a full workload is like 15, 16 character. You know, they be splitting stuff up. But Gus got that right away. J.K. Dobbins is baby steps baby steps so for him and again he said that he decided to get this surgery he said he wasn't feeling himself so he wanted to make sure he, he was all the way right for this hopeful Ravens playoff run uh, we'll see how it goes but um he said he wanted to be all the way right uh so that was a, a big sacrifice on his part um to be willing to go under the knife again have a little minor surgery uh so you can feel right and hopefully come back toward the end of the season but the fact that he's practicing, uh, again, Harbaugh did say that the other day. Uh, he said that he would practice in some form or whatnot. Um, so he's out there. So that's a good thing. But don't expect him back this week. Don't expect him back next week. Um, he, of course, does have that 21-day window. Um, but I, I wouldn't expect him back. Even after the 21 days, I honestly don't even expect him back um, within the next, like, two, three weeks. I think they will They'll have him on the roster, but I don't think they'll play him right away. I think maybe, like... I mean, we're getting towards the end of the season, so time is ticking, but I think it'll definitely be way on the back end of the season that they play J.K. Dobbins because, again, they, they ain't rushing him. Um, but anyway, it's really, really, uh, really, really good news, man. Really, really good news uh, for Shamar Bridges because he um, – I just, I just really hope – again, I can't get my hopes up, but I, I would just really hope that he would get an opportunity, but – yeah, I just, yeah, I really hope that he'll get an opportunity. Oh, he's 6'4", excuse me. I thought he was 6'5", excuse me. Um, but we'll see, man. We'll see. Anyway, love y'all team. Keep it clean. Appreciate y'all team. Keep it clean. Uh, thank you all for supporting so much. We are very close to a very, very special, special milestone. Um, don't know when we're going to hit it, but when we do, uh, it'll definitely be a uh, cause for celebration. And, and I, I thank you all so much for taking time out of your day every day uh, to come through so we could chop it up for a little bit about whatever it is. Thank you for always respecting each other. Thank you for always showing love to each other. Um, and again, like we always say, whether you agree with something that I say or disagree with something that I say or agree or disagree with something that somebody else says in the comment section or whatnot, I appreciate y'all for always, 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 always being respectful about it. Got a lot of love for y'all and appreciation. Thank you always for your time. We out.